call this meeting to order. Um, please bow your heads for the invocation. Dear God, bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 We can forego the roll call. All counselors are here this evening. We move on to approval of minutes. The city council meeting of July 20th. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make the motion. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion on those minutes? Being not, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We also have the Quarterly round top, uh, round top. <laughs> thinking about the Civil War for some reason. Quarterly round table workshop on July 20th after the regular city council meeting. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion. Support. It's been made and supported. Is there any discussion on these minutes? Do you not? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We go to audience comments on any non-agenda items. Is anybody in the audience that would like to speak at this time? None. Well, thank you. We move on. Adoption of agenda, Mr. City Manager, any changes? No changes. City Council, any changes? Motion to accept the agenda as presented would be in order. I'll make the motion. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion? Be it not. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion has been made and supported. There is no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to items for consideration, which we have three this evening. The first one being consideration of the introduction and first reading of ordinance number 166 fireworks ordinance. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider giving introduction and first reading to Ordinance 166, the City of Richmond fireworks ordinance. In 2011, the state of Michigan changed their fireworks laws to allow for consumer grade or consumer fireworks uh, in the state of Michigan on the day before, the day of, and the day after any federally recognized holiday. Uh, based over the years on citizen input and complaints that the state received. In 2019, the state revised or amended that law and then l limited the number of days that, that fireworks are allowed under the state law, which are uh, New Year's Eve, Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, and six or seven days surrounding the fourth, depending on how it falls. Uh, the consumer fireworks law that the state passed then provided that the local governments could enact ordinances surrounding the other days or pertaining to the other days not specifically identified in the law. Based on our conversation at our last uh, July quarterly roundtable, and feedback that the council uh, and administration have been receiving. Council directed uh, city staff to uh, prepare an ordinance that would limit the number of days that fire consumer grade fireworks are allowed within the city of Richmond uh, to just those days outlined by the uh, amended state law from 2019. Uh, that ordinance is in your packet. We did make one more change uh, based on the council comments, and that was to provide uh, an exceptions clause whereby if somebody was having a significant event, say a 50th anniversary, a wedding uh, reception, uh, some type of you know significant birthday party, um, that they could uh, fill out a special event application to the city council and, and get permission through the council. But um, barring that special approval from council that in the city of Richmond, the only days that fire consumer fireworks would be allowed would be those days specifically set aside by the state law. Thank you. Is there a motion before discussion? I make the motion to give introduction and first reading of ordinance 166, the city of Richmond consumer fireworks ordinance that would limit the number of days consumer fireworks are allowed. 
support? It's been made and supported. Discussion? I believe we've had uh, a number of complaints. Um, yes. For quite some time now uh, of people shooting off fireworks throughout the year, in the middle of the night, uh, early in the mornings, and everything else. Yep. Um, seems as though people have become much more careless and don't seem to care about their neighbors or anybody else. Uh, more so in the last couple of years. Um, our police department's been hit yep. numerous times. City managers told us numerous complaints. And it seems as though it got really bad this year. And maybe because of COVID and you know, people are looking, you know, maybe to spice up their life with some fireworks or something. I'm not sure what it was, but boy, did we have the complaints this year. I think we all heard it uh, from friends and relatives in the community. And uh, we definitely need to get it under control. I, I believe this is the best way to do it. Follow the state guideline and then by special permit by the city council, like we've done for other things in our community. I think it's, it's the only way to go to, and let's see how it works. Um, other comments? And as we discussed, our old ordinance uh, even was so kind of old that it referenced a state law that wasn't pertinent anymore. So uh, this kind of cleans it up, make sure everyone is on the same page as far as what is or is not allowed in the city. So, but everything you've said is correct uh, in regards to the complaints. And, and certainly this year, uh, they did spike uh, here at City Hall and in the PD. Okay, uh, any comments from the audience? No comments. Okay, thank you. Back to the table. I have a comment, Mr. Mayor. With this ordinance, don't we normally pass it along or let our surrounding townships know we have this ordinance? I know there's something that we have to notify them. And when we do something that could potentially impact them, and, and maybe hopefully but my point is, is that if we do maybe it would spearhead them thinking of doing the same thing because we're so close to the townships and especially at the border all around us who knows i mean you could have fireworks and they're in the township but it's really close to the city it'd be nice to have a a joint Agreement. It wouldn't be difficult to share a copy of the ordinance okay. with uh, four surrounding supervisors. Mm -hmm. Certainly, certainly do that and let them know at least here's our stance. Yeah. yeah. Any other comments from the council? Okay, this is the first reading, and we'll have the second reading in two weeks at the next regular council meeting. Correct. If the public has any issues with that, it would be a time to call City Hall or to talk to one of the councilmen about it. Um, before we adopt this. Okay, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number two is consideration of wastewater treatment plant replacement geotube containers. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider the purchase of two geotube containers for sludge management. In 2013, the city purchased three geo bags to improve, improve the sludge dewatering capability of the wastewater treatment plant and reducing our disposal costs by reducing the amount of times we have to haul the sludge and land apply it. Uh, we have since then uh, at least gotten rid of two bags uh, that I'm aware of uh, and we continue to monitor and look for new technologies in this area but right now we're uh, needing two new bags. Thank you. Is there a motion before further discussion? I'll make a motion to purchase two 75 foot diameter by 72 foot long geo containers for the wastewater treatment sludge operations in an estimated amount of $9,154 with the expenses charged to the appropriate line item, contractual services, sewer treatment plant, sanitary sewer fund. Support. Most has been made and supported. Any discussion on this? If there's any questions, I'd, our public service director, Jim Getzinger, is here tonight if you have technical questions. Okay. I have a question. Have you kind of overlooked 
to see, did we really save money by going this route? We did. It, it, it didn't work exactly how we planned. It yeah. took longer, but we still had had years where we didn't even haul sludge, you know, where before we were hauling twice a year. Okay. Um, and, and so uh, it, it's not quite exactly how it was laid out when we all looked at this, you know, and, and without trying it, you don't really know. Uh, it took a little bit longer to dry than what we thought. And, and so, like in my mind, I thought it was going to be, you buy one bag, use it. <laughs> Get yeah. rid of it and buy the second bag. And right. You really kind of need a series of bags. But uh, and Jim, if you want to jump in and correct me there, but no, that, that's accurate. It's not quite the savings we anticipated, but it's it's definitely not costing more than the uh, land application. We do we do continue to have trouble to get uh, uh, contractors that do the land application. So this is in addition to some cost savings. It is also a uh, alternative plan for the sludge for disposal and as we and we do we are continuing to look at other options to make sure that we continue to have capacity to to handle and uh, and dispose of the sludge that we produce at the wastewater plant okay and was this a, a sole so, uh, source for the bags yeah, this, this is the the only contractor or supplier in our area that provides this product yeah okay any other comments, questions? Anybody? I just want to speak into it, though. I mean, the savings isn't significant. I'd like to stick with it. Um, the residents on Diane Lane, every once in a while before we, when we had the drying beds, it wasn't like a bad smell. It was just kind of an off, depending on the way the air hit, just from like drying mud, you would, you know, right. that was cracking, like, you know, when, after a rain or something like that, they, every once in a while. So I think they probably, I would imagine, appreciate it that we have switched to this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anything else? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Thank you. Thank you. Item number three is consideration of appointment to the Cable Commission. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider making an appointment to the Cable Commission, Cable TV Committee. Uh, with the resignation of Carolyn Pryor from the Cable Committee, there is currently one vacancy on the board. Thank you. And uh, <clears throat> would there be a motion? I'll make a motion to appoint Janice Dolan to fill a vacant term on the Cable TV Committee with an expiration date of June 30th, 2021. Support. Well, it's been made and supported. Any discussion? It's some new blood, <laughs> so to speak. Um, it is Carolyn's uh, sister, and she uh, <laughs> told her what a... Uh, <laughs> You know, good commission it was, and um, I had been kind of eyeing Janice up for a, a, a spot, her and her husband, because they're longtime Richmond people, and um, their kids just uh, last one just graduated from high school, so I was hoping maybe a little more time. So um, I think she got a little uh, arm twist there from her sister, also. Um, so it worked out. I'm glad that uh, she stepped up to this uh, TV committee, and I think she's going to bring. Uh, Bring some uh, expertise there from uh, a part of our community that hasn't uh, been really represented uh, on that particular committee uh, very well. She's uh, been a member of State Days for many, many years, taught, uh, or I should say um, coached, uh, was very involved in her church uh, there. So uh, that, that might bring some new uh, uh, line of thinking to the cable as far as you know getting some of those activities also on to our cable television here in the town so I think should be a great addition any other comments any audience comments on this item none thank you back to the table all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. against motion does pass Again, we thank Janice. Miscellaneous matters from the city manager, sir. Uh, just a reminder that uh, this upcoming Wednesday will be one of the Gleaners food drops on the uh, starting at 11 o'clock a.m. They're a little uh, last month and this month and next month. They're all we're all at 11 a.m. a little earlier than before. Okay, thank you. 
Moving on to council comments before we have to go into closed session. Uh, John? Nothing. Emily? Nothing tonight. Jamie? Nothing. Oh. Dennis? Rob? Good. Mike? Uh, just one thing. I want to thank the administration and for our annual putting out of the flowers that are along Main Street. Got some additional comments today on how nice it looks. So, uh, yeah, they, they do look really nice. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Really enhanced the downtown. Yep. Um, congratulations are in order, uh, but it's a loss to the city. Uh, Police Department Officer Fred McCullamore retired. Was that Wednesday or Thursday? We had the Thursday. Thursday. Yep. Thursday. Uh, Fred had been with the city for approximately 35 years and um, did an out outstanding job while he was here. Uh, in many different areas of the police department. Uh, he also was one of the um, EMS directors, uh, Richmond Lennox EMS directors at, at one time many, many years ago. But he has served as a detective and uh, well, many different range officer and many different positions within our police department. So uh, our police department is much better uh, because of his many years with us here in the city. So we'll miss him. Definitely miss them. Uh, we'll go to the calendar, which I haven't done in the past, but we do have a primary election, which uh, in some cases for some people uh, will determine uh, uh, who's going to be uh, serving them um, because sometimes it's only one party that's running in one particular area, you know, or it's certain judges in certain districts and, and whatnot. It could be, this could be their one and only real needed vote. Uh, it won't matter what happens in November. So it's pretty important to get out and vote no matter what tomorrow. Uh, our polls here in the city will be at the community center on Festival Drive. Uh, they'll be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and that's for the primary election. We have a planning commission meeting on the 13th at seven o'clock. I don't believe we have a BZA, okay. Right. So we will have a 7 o'clock uh, on the 13th for the Planning Commission. Uh, the next regular scheduled meeting of the City Council is two weeks from tonight. They start at 6 o'clock right here at City Hall on Division. Was there anything else that we needed to put on the calendar? Okay. And, and the other thing is our, our Recreation Department still doing things. And I think they're starting something brand new uh, real soon. Um, it's another, it's another thing that they've come up with, and it's virtual. Um, but I was in there the other day, I was taking a little bike ride. Well, that was the other thing. Um, city manager, uh, DPW director, uh, evidently got together and got the, uh, the trail around BB Park. There was uh, some hybrid trees that were planted there a number of years ago, and the roots just tore up the track between what they call Diamond A and, and Diamond B. I think, uh, I believe the city contracted for about 300 feet, 350 feet, yes, something uh, like that. Yes, TIFA approved the funding and, and uh, Jim worked on, on it with the uh, asphalt patching contractor. Yeah, so it's much much smoother through there and I was lucky enough to be somewhere. Was it Saturday we were talking? Yeah, and somebody who does occasionally use the path complained about how bad it was over there. I said, oh no, it's, it's fine. You know, Dennis and I were sitting there. And I think it was actually, was it your sister? <laughs> and uh, uh, her and Bob ride bicycle a lot around town. And she said, oh, how bad that is. I said, no, 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 it's fine. You know, and she laughed and I said, no, actually they just got done replacing it. <laughs> so uh, people had noticed and it was, it was good that we could react to that while we had contractors in town doing all the other patches in town. So glad that that got done in a, a very short period of time when council brought that to your attention. Okay, um, we do have a closed session for negotiations. We need a motion to go into closed session. Anybody care to make that motion? I make a motion to convene into closed session in accordance with Section 8C of the Michigan Open Meetings Act, Public Act 267 of 1976, as amended for strategy and negotiation sessions connected with the negotiation of collective bargaining agreement as requested by administration. Report. What's been made and supported? Is there any discussion? Be not. Roll call vote. Green. Yes. Before. Yes. Mistrovich? Yes. Rindell? Yes. Ricks? Yes. Warren? Yes. Allen? Yes. Motion passes. We will go into closed session at this time. Okay, we're out of closed session. We need a motion to go back into open session. 
Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to reconvene into open session. Support. Motion been made and supported. Is there any discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We're back in open session. We move on to other business of the city councilors. We have consideration of tentative agreement with the POAM. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion to approve the tentative agreement with the POAM patrol signed July 27, 2020. Support. Most been made and supported. Is there any discussion? Glad to see that we could work this all out. Administration did a good job again, and we appreciate the employees uh, giving uh, solid consideration to our our parameters Thank there you. and what we could do for that. And, and we have pretty much wrapped up negotiations with the uh, communications officer, so I anticipate that at two weeks from tonight we'll have a closed session to wrap that one up. Very good. Very good. Any other discussion on this? Is there anybody in the audience on this? I think it's hung up. He, he left. Everybody's so, gone? Yeah, everyone's gone. Okay. Yep. All right. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to adjournment. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion's been made and supported. There's no discussion. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? We are adjourned. <laughs>